Kenneth. I'm going to be your deckhand this morning aboard the Star. If you guys got any questions while we're out there, please feel free to ask either myself or Captain Nick can answer just about anything you throw at us while we're out there. Thank you for aboard the Star Monterey this morning. Just to grab a couple of things that Ken was going over there again here, just uh, life jackets on this boat are located inside the lounge area, stored in the benches. And at the end of each bench is clearly marked how many life jackets underneath each bench. Life rafts are located up top of the main cabin, life ring in the front portion of the pilot house. And the ship's papers are located inside the lounge area against the fort bulkhead. For your safety while we're at sea, we have a few little rules like everybody kind of pay attention to. We don't want anybody running or jumping on deck or standing on the benches in the front end of the boat or the aft end of the boat. We're just trying to do the trip as safely as possible. So a couple things go a long way towards getting that done. If you're going to be standing up to the rail while the boat is traveling, hang on to the rail. Don't hang on to each other. Hang on to the rail. Very important. My wife and I came to Monterey and Carmel for a few days. We're here to film content at the Choose Ridge Lookout for an upcoming video. We decided to take a break from overlanding and head out onto the ocean for a little whale watching. Christy, what are you seeing? Dolphins and whales. <laughs> Right, right side of the boat. As you come around the back side of the cabin there, come forward. Come just the whole side of the boat over here on the right. Come back whales. These whales are feeding here, gang. That's what they're doing. They're feeding. There's just a small bunch of sea lions here. They've got a great big school of fish, and they're feeding here. Humpback whales are the only ones that do exactly what we're seeing here right now. Feed with each other cooperatively, and also feed with other animals, sea lions and dolphin and porpoise also. This Monterey Bay in Central California here, just uh, region here is very unique along the coast of California because the edge of the continental shelf comes in very close to shore. So when these winds blow, the sun building is very intense in this area. We also have a huge submarine canyon that dissects the bay right down the center. And uh, at its deepest point, is about 11,000 feet. So in this area, the up building is just extremely intense. And uh, so massive amounts of plankton and food gets hooked up back inside the bay here. And so when these large schools of fish come into the bay, they, they, uh, they have a tendency to want to stay in, in the bay because there's massive amounts of food for them. There's no reason for them to leave once they get here. So what's happening here is that most of, what, most of what we're not able to see here is these, these whales and the, and the sea lions are pushing their school of fish. It's really not with that big of a school of fish. If they're moving this fast, in general, it's not that big of a school of fish. But so they're pushing it, and they're, and, they're, and they're pretty much just scaring the daylights out of it. And when that happens, the fish have a natural tendency to come very tightly together. Actually, the tighter they come together, the more beneficial it is for the animals. As soon as that happens, as soon as they can get them to very close together, the whale will come charging through that school of fish. As it does, it opens up its mouth really wide. They, they uh, fully engage that mouth to be 12 to 13 feet across. And at the same time, it's opening its mouth, it's, it's expanding its gullet. They have huge gullets, the gullets extend from the tip of their chin to about the middle of their abdomen, and they have what are called ventriplates. Ventriplates very simply allow the whale to expand its gullet out to about twice the size of its normal girth. So, so this ha everything that's taking me so long to, t to say or to, 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 to explain actually happens in about two and a half seconds. And uh, so at the instant that the, that the gullet is for holding upwards of a thousand gallons of water, the whale closes its mouth and then starts contracting or squeezing the water back out through its baleen. Baleen is kind of a carotene like substance, kind of like your fingernails actually. Then it grows in strips and plates of your oil or the primer up of the upper jaw. They have little furry combs on these plates. So the water passes through the comb, holding in the prey. And if everything works right, the water goes out, prey stays in, you got a happy whale. Kind of a fisherman's luck type thing. Sometimes it gets a whole bunch, sometimes not so much. But when they're doing this type of a thing here, right here, where they're feeding cooperatively, the things things are really good for the whales. 
they get a lot of food. Each one of these whales that we're seeing here today can eat upwards of a thousand pounds of these anchovies. One thousand pounds. These are smaller whales. The larger whales could eat upwards of one thousand five hundred pounds of, of a large whale. These are not what you call really big whales. They're big, but not not like some of the really big ones. That pretty much just like that, it's over. Whales are going their way, the sea lions are going another way.
Okay, so as you come into the arbor here, just a couple of quick things. As we pull up to the pier, we'd appreciate it very much. Please keep your hands and arms inside the boat, especially if you're on the front right side. It gets really close. We don't want to see anybody get their fingers squished. So his hands inside the boat, please, not even on the rail. It'll take us just a couple of minutes to get the boat tied up. Please give us that time. Then your deck hand is going to lend a hand with the upload. Please do accept the help. And for those who might be staying or fishing with Yoke for lunch today, one place we recommend very highly would be the Cafe Fina. They're right straight across the street because it's whale watching over there. They do a great job over there. they got a good job of pizza quite possibly one of the best on the whole waterfront there. They do a really good job of that. The individual site pizza made to order. And uh, they got a uh, great uh, clam chowder to run. they got the best fish and chips on the whole waterfront. Trust me, I'm trying them all. Theirs are the best. Cafe Fina is located straight across the street from Crystal Whale Watching. Great video, great food, and great service. I just want to thank everybody for joining us here this morning. It's pretty very active early this morning. I've got to see those whales when they're feeding there. That's pretty very, uh, don't seem to get to see that too often. And a um, couple of nice lunch feeds or sun, side lunch there. And then, uh, of course, that, that calf jumped down the water. That was pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed it. If you ever get back this way again, come back and see us again sometime. Thank you very much.